guys, Dr. Will here from Miami Spine and Performance. We have a special video today. Today is for you uh, mothers out there. Um, you make the world go round. So I've had a lot of patients recently that have actually uh, gone through pregnancy, recently delivered the baby, and now want to get active. So there's a lot of, um, you know, it's hard for people to know based on reading online, you know, how long should you wait to be active and things like that. And first of all, of course, you want to consult with your physician before you get on any physical activity program after pregnancy. Um, with that being said, you know, after usually six weeks or so, you should be ready to go, right? And even before then, you can kind of start to ease back in. But, um, you know, pregnancy can be very hard on the body. It's hard on the body um, hormonally and, and physically, right? Because you're carrying this baby, it's affecting your spine and your hips, and it's, it's hard to do some of the things that you were doing before while you're pregnant. So it's really important that you kind of build some foundational movement patterns after pregnancy um, so that you can, you know, get back in shape and, and get back to your, your old body. So um, it's absolutely achievable. And today I'm going to show you guys five exercises that I use with my, uh, my, my new young mothers and uh, how I help get them back in shape. So the first exercise that I typically always begin with, um, with postpartum patients, is just a simple tabletop hold, okay? So obviously the abdominal region has been through a lot, particularly um, if you go through a C-section. So... The first thing we're trying to do is just kind of establish core stability again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate my legs to 90 degrees like so, and then all I'll have them do is just breathe in and out. And what you'll find is it's a little hard to take controlled breaths because you're uh, bracing your abdominals. So right here, all we're doing is just trying to rebuild some armor around the abdomen and making sure that we can breathe. So breathe in, breathe out. And you might find at first this is really challenging, so go ahead and do it for three to five breaths, take a break, and then come right back up. Additionally, we want the lower back to be flat while we're doing this exercise, okay? So again, this is the tabletop hold, exercise number one. Breathe in and breathe out. The second exercise you can also do on your back, and that's going to be the glute bridge. So a lot of times during pregnancy, um, because of the difficulty with positions and certain exercises, we tend to get a little bit inhibited in the glutes. So we want to rebuild those glutes and start with a simple glute bridge. So with the glute bridge, we're going to bring our um, feet close to our butt. And all I'm going to do from here is just bridge my hips straight up to the ceiling. And slowly come down. Bridge straight up to the ceiling. Slowly come down. Okay? And what we're trying to do is we're just squeezing the butt and shooting the hips straight up. Right? We want to make sure that we squeeze the butt because if we don't, we could maybe just use the low back and we don't want to put any pressure on the lower back. We just want to squeeze and lift straight up. And you might even feel a little stretch in the quads depending on uh, how tight you are. So straight up, straight down, just like so. Okay? The third exercise we're going to do from sideline, and we're going to use this to activate some of our hip rotators, okay? So here on the outside of the butt, we've got piriformis, we've got the gemelli muscles, obturator, you know, but that's not so relevant, but there's a, there's a couple small muscles that are responsible for hip rotation, right? And it's really important that we strengthen those muscles. So we're going to lie on our side, support our head like so, I'm going to rotate and rotate, just like that. Okay, so knees together, I'm going to open the knees, open the foot, close the foot, close the knees, just like that. Nice and easy, open and close. Okay, and what you should feel is you should feel these muscles right here. So this bone is called the greater trochanter. Just outside of there, you're going to feel these muscles squeezing, and we're just working on basic hip rotation, okay? And you would do this on both sides. Just rotating through the foot and the knee. You should feel a really good burn here after about five or six reps. Okay? From there, we're already on our side. So we're going to go into a side bridge. So the side bridge is going to work the abdominals, particularly the obliques. Again, pregnancy is really hard on the abdomen and the core. A lot of times you see things like diastasis recti after pregnancy. And if there's a C-section, then we're, we're dealing with a scar and things like that. So it's really important that we prioritize the core and the hips postpartum. So from here, I'm going to bridge onto my elbow, and I'm just going to come straight up like so. And here, we're going to just do a hold. So we're really feeling obliques on the downside. We might be feeling downside glute. We're just going to keep those hips all the way up and hold from here. Again, trying to keep nice, relaxed breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay. 
and then we come down. So we can start there for about 20 to 30 seconds um, or whatever you're comfortable with, work up to 60 seconds or so. The last exercise, we're actually going to use some weight. So um, we want to do more than just work on the table, right? We want to get back to um, activities of daily living and do some functional training. So today we're going to do a goblet squat. And this is a common thing that I'll give to uh, women after they give birth. Um, we're going to hold the kettlebell like this. You can do this with a dumbbell or, or any other kind of weight. Most people have something lying around at home or something uh, up in the attic that you can grab. And from here, we're just going to do a basic squat with our chest upright. And we're going to sit down and come back up. Notice how I'm not letting the kettlebell pull me forward. And I'm not pulling the kettlebell out like this. I'm just holding it right to my center. I'm staying upright and coming straight up and down. Down and up, just like that. Okay? So those are five exercises that I very often give to women uh, postpartum. Again, we start with the core. So we have our um, tabletop hold, just building some strength and armor around the abdomen. We go right into our glute bridge. Side clam, right, where we're opening, opening, just like that. So a little bit of a variation. Side bridge for the obliques, and then a goblet squat, just so we're getting on our feet, working on our quads and our core. Typically, I'll have people do about three sets of each. Again, start very conservatively, but I find this program to be um, a great foundation for somebody that wants to get back to, you know, Orange Theory, F45, going to the gym, CrossFit, whatever it is. Make sure that you're you're easing back into those activities during that postpartum period, letting your body, you know, respecting your body and building it back up. And then, you know, within a few months, you should be back to all the things you were doing before. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, new mothers, expectant mothers, anything like that, go ahead and send us a DM, send us a message. We love working with pregnant patients, postpartum patients. So uh, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.